Primo's honey, stream the language. You know, when we get to talking about lethal shots, let's talk about guns first. You know, we all work really hard. We all spend most of the year planning for the, the deer season. It's easy when you see a big buck to you get nervous, you get excited, and it's easy, man, if I can just get a shot at him. I'd like to ask that you step back a minute because there's nothing worse than shooting a deer and losing it, wounding that deer, and we owe it to the deer and us as responsible sportsmen to, to do our part. So think about those angles. With, e even with a gun, you know, you have a little bit more room for error with a gun than you do like a bow, and we'll talk about gun, then we'll go into bow. But, you know, if you don't want to take crazy shots through brush you, that, that could deflect that bullet. So what I like to do when I see a deer coming, I'm trying to look ahead. Okay, he's coming this way. I'm trying to anticipate where my shot's going to be. And I try to think it through. They get in the open, you've heard us many times, stop him, man. Well, if that deer's walking and you shoot at that deer walking, you know, they, they can, even with a gun, I mean, your, your shot can be six, eight, 10 inches back that quick, you don't even realize it. So, so stop him, think about that. Man. Try to get a, a broadside shot and think about your angle. You could shoot a deer a little more quarter to you with a gun than you can a bow because you can get up here in front of that shoulder. But think about whether you're shooting a gun or a bow, where that bullet or that arrow is going to exit. Don't too much worry about, you'll kind of know where your crosshairs or your pin is. That's not that big a deal with a gun. It is with a bow, we'll talk about in a sec. But with a gun, think about that bullet exiting. If that deer's quartering to you, you don't want to shoot him six inches behind the shoulder because that bullet's going to come out its hind quarter. Shoot it in the shoulder and it's going to come out still in the ribs behind the offside shoulder. So focus on the exit. Don't worry about the entrance as much. Think about the exit if you got the proper angles. Now head on shots, bow, I, I, I definitely would stay away from them. Wouldn't even consider it. Or straight down through the top of the back because there's too much room for air. A gun, you have a little more to play with because you got the shock of that bullet. And, and, and those shots will work if you got a, a clear shooting lane to, to that animal. So gun, just to steal, try to get that animal stopped. Think about where that bullet's gonna exit. Now bow, you can't shoot a deer quarter to you or head on with a bow and expect it to be a high percentage lethal shot. It's just, it just half the time you, you're gonna lose that deer or you're gonna have an extremely hard time finding it. Because think about shooting a deer head on well, your vitals that you got to hit are probably about that big. And there's a lot of stuff. If you're, if you're off an inch, that air could go in there and then go right down the rib cage and never even get in the vitals. There's been a, many a elk and deer, big game animals lost shooting them head on with a bow. Same way if you shoot down top of the back. You know, those deer get up under you and you say, oh, I, can, I can shoot right through the top of the back. Well, the same thing, you have a little narrow window to shoot in. And if you get it in there, yeah, you could kill that deer, no problem. But if you miss that much, that air could run right down that rib cage, same thing again. Or you get one lung, or you you shoot a little bit far back, and it's just a terrible shot. Please don't, we owe it to the animal not to take those bad shots. So, broadside, bow, quarter and away bow. Same as we just talked about gun. Think about where that air is gonna exit. You know, if that deer's up under you, you might shoot him high, and it might look bad going in, but that air is gonna come out perfect on the on the exit so think about those angles think about stopping that deer try to anticipate those animals where you think you're going to shoot them but again focus on that exit whether it's gun or bow and that'll make a big difference in all your shots